We're live. All right, Shalawa. First and foremost, we're going to start off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh. That will honor to the apostles and elders like a Sharada that rule well. And salutations to Yahweh out there in the highways and the byways, preaching his word in truth and in sincerity. Flint over. Hey, yeah, so. Class. Oh. This is the book of, um. Habakkuk 1 and 1. It says, The burden which Habakkuk the prophet did see. O Yahweh Basham Yahushai, how long shall I cry, and thou wilt not hear? Even cry unto thee of violence, and thou wilt not save. Why doest thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me, and there are that raise up strife and contention. Therefore, the law is slacked, and judgment doeth never go forth. For the wicked doeth compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceedeth. And that's what's the, uh, taking place in this in this present evil world, man. You know, the wicked are in authority and therefore they're uh, uh, decreeing and righteous decrees as is written in Isaiah 10 chapter. And Daniel uh, speaks about uh, 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 through his policy, shall he cause craft to prosper, man. You know, so 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 how how, how this uh, uh, society is being ran, it's all within wickedness, man. And it said what? That the judgment of the Lord is slack and it doesn't go out. Because these devils cast the law of Yahweh Basham Yahushua behind their back according to uh, the, uh, what's that? Psalms, the 50th chapter. Uh, the Lord said, uh, who is thou to take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest destruction, man. But yet this country claimed to be uh, um, um, built upon uh, uh, biblical um, qualities, you know, for lack of a better word. A God-fearing country, right? Mm-hmm. This is, right there. this is uh first John 5 and 19. It says that we know that we are of Yahweh and the whole world lies in wickedness. You know, and, and and this was back, you know, who who was ruling at that time? You know, Esau Edom's uh, uh so-called white men, the Romans, you know. So hey, so how much more now? You know, how much more now and, and them them being back in power, you know? So if, if we see it, man. If you have a uh, a spiritual eye, you, you're gonna see how wicked this place is, man. It says that what that that lot being a just man, vexed with the filthy conversation and, and seeing, seeing and hearing, you know. And, and what does it say in Revelations, uh, what eleven and uh, eight, that uh that this is a uh, spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt, you know. And this place is literally just just uh is 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 ran is is all wicked. With the color of it being righteous, with with the with the curtain of it being righteous, you know. But when you really boil when when you boil down to it, it is it, really wicked, you know. This is Psalms twelve and eight. The wicked walk on every side, where the vilest men are exalted, and he tells you that the base of young men, you know, is ruling right now, man. All right, it says children, uh, it says women and children are oppressors, man. They destroy the path of their ways. They which leave thee destroy the path of their ways, man. So wickedness is all around us, man. Hey, like the, you just read it, the, this present evil world, right? You know, the Lord laughed in wickedness. That's this place is, man. It's complete wickedness. All right, that's why, uh, what's that, James 4? All right, it says to be separate from this world, man, because once in the world, the pride, of, the pride of life, the lust of the eyes, it's all wickedness, man. Like, what's the Ecclesiastes 10? Folly is set in great dignity. You know, and the rich sit in a low place. They don't want the wisdom. Of, they don't want the wisdom of the Lord, man. They want the, the vowels, man. They want to, uh, uh, like it says in Psalms 50, they want to consent with the thief. You know? They chose Barabbas. Huh. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that, that, that was spiritual, man. Them, the uh, uh, two-thirds of our people choosing a, a murderer, a thief, over the Savior, you know? That goes back into today, man, and the, them uh, choosing Esau, Edom, you know, the ways of the heathen, uh, uh, they uphold it uh, uh, more than, than than the ways of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Perfect example uh, today. How many uh, little badass uh, 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 kids waking up right now in a couple hours 
to open up goddamn Christmas gifts, man. Yeah, grown ass people dressed up in onesies and shit, you know? Right. And it ain't like you haven't been told. As it is written in the book of Romans, it says, uh, 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 have they not heard? Surely they sound went in, in, into all the earth, man. So, so these people know. Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, man, it, it goes in uh, uh, plain, <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know, but uh, I got uh, this Proverbs 28 and 28. It says, when the wicked rise, men hide themselves. But when they perish, the righteous increase. So, so, so the wicked is rising, man. And it says, and men hide themselves, you know, but, but when they perish, the righteous will increase. That's why this uh, destruction is going to be so great, you know. But you got it up. This is uh, <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Mm -hmm. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the son of men is fully set in them to do evil. All right, because going back to the Habakkuk uh, 1, uh, the law slack. Why? Because the wicked is in rulership. You know, everything they got set up is against what the Heavenly Father set up, Yahweh. All right. Hey, and, and because uh, people don't get punished right away for their wickedness, you know, they, hey, they continue to live in wickedness. You know, they continue to do um, um, pretty much um, hey, whatever they desire. You know, even though we're here telling them, you know, that's not the way, et cetera. You know, um, they, they ain't really taking heed, you know, because, hey, uh, the, the, the true judgment isn't executed speedily. You know, hey, the, the Heavenly Father would, will get you in the third and fourth generation, you know. Right, that's what it says, like, what, that, that people that people shall be willing and they have their power. You know, because if they have his power, he's going to what? He's going to execute judgment. He's going to judge motherfuckers on the spot. That's not happening now. So people, you know, th think of everything <laughs> as a joke. That's why America has that vibration. Like, every, to them, everything is a joke, man. Everything. It, it, uh, a while, a, while, a couple of weeks back, your brother Murph, you know, he had, he had made a, a, a statement about uh, this wicked nigga, uh, Juice World dying. You know, and he has basically said, like, look, yeah, they, you know, that nigga was wicked and he got what he deserved. But the way the people took it, the way they 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 uh they mocked it, you know, like 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 if they couldn't be touched, like if they that couldn't happen to them, you know, that's the vibration of of this uh this society, you know, and it, and it really comes from from America. They're the ones that that push all that. That's why in, in Isaiah uh the forty seven chapter it says what a uh, virgin daughter, because that that that's 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 the whole vibration. They think they can never be touched. They think none of this could happen to them. So they, what, what they do, they mock, they, they walk, they walk like they're insecure, you know? But soon, soon all that's gonna end, you know? Soon, soon it's gonna be made known, man. That, that all, all this was a lie, all this was was vain, that, that, that wickedness had no profit, you know? This is uh, Isaiah 59, verse 14. It said, judgment is turned away backwards, and justice standing far off. For truth is fellas in the streets, and equity cannot, cannot enter, man. And, and that's what it is. Since judgment don't go forth out uh, in, in this world, hey, um, uh, things is upside down. They tell you in, in, in uh, Psalms uh, uh, 83, I believe 83, that uh, everything is turned upside down, man. Because what? Who is ruling? Esau, Edom, man. If righteous was an authority, a lot of things would be different. That's why uh, these people take wickedness and, and use it as a sport, man. They glorify in wickedness. They glorify in pride. Because that's the vibration of this world, man. Wickedness. Judgment do not go forth out uh, of the earth. It says, verse 15, yet truth fell, and he that depart uh, evil maketh himself a prey. And we tell these people about what's going on. But we the bad guy. We tell you that uh, Christmas is wicked. All these holidays, pagan holidays, is wicked. 
and, and show you the true right way, but uh, we the bad guy because we tell you this is what the Heavenly Father uh, 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 ordained. It said, and the, and the Lord saw it and it displeased in him that were, were no judgment, man. And the Lord looked upon his place with straight uh, evil, man. He, he want to destroy this place, man, because of all the wickedness that been going on, on on the earth, man. And more and more, hey, uh, can you go back to that, please, guys? Hey, then 11 to 7. I got 8, yeah. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 8, verse 12. And 12, it says, Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, mm -hmm. yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear power which fear before him. Right. The Lord, the ones that, that fear the Lord, that's doing right, that's trying to get it right on the right hand side, but the ones that's not keep reading. It says verse 13, but it shall not be well with the wicked. It not be well with the wicked. <laughs> right? Keep going. Neither shall he prolong his days. And he will not prolong these days, man. For all you wicked people that, that want to uh, do the wickedness that Esau have promoted, your days is numbered, man. The Lord is going to come back and destroy you, man. God. I got one of the bad oh, ones. Yeah, it says, uh, which are as a shadow. Because he feareth not before power. God. Ecclesiastes 11 and 9. Rejoice, O young man of thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth. And walk in the ways of thine heart and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou that for all these things the Most High will bring thee into judgment. All right, so yeah, uh, like somebody get Psalm 73. It may seem sweet, you know, looking at the oppressor. And the things he's going got going on, but look, it's gonna be for his end. All right, even his children, like it says, his children multiplied this for the sword. All right, it's gonna damn. Um, it's like real quick. This is Isaiah three, and um, and nine, the show of their consonants doth witness against them, and they declared their sin in Sodom. They hide it not, want to their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Which, you know, that's just the pride of these people, man. They don't hide their wickedness anymore. They have no shame. All right, they openly show it, man. They declare it. They promote it. Again, finally, second grade demon. What did they say? They rewarded evil unto themselves, man. Want to their soul. They about to get punished, man. Verse 10. Say to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. All right? You're going to get the reward of your hands, man. Plain and simple. So, yeah, though it, uh, uh, it's taking a while for all the judge to come down and get set. Hey, look, it don't matter. The Lord is surely coming, man. All right? The Lord is surely coming. He's going to punish the wicked of our people, man. Those who don't want to uh, repent, those who want to still follow the ways of Esau, Edom, man, you're going to get punished for that. Those who still make themselves friends with the world, and a friend with the world is an enemy to the Most High, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. And there's a penalty for that, man. So you looking at the enemy, you looking at the enemy and seeing him having a sweet time. Hey, this is for his punishment. So who got this Psalm 73? Who started at one? Yeah, Psalm 73 and 1. They say, truly, Yahweh is good to Israel, even such as are of a clean heart. That's right. Hey, Malachi, the first chapter starts off what? You know, I love you, Israel. And Israel, like, how you love us? Like, we in all this hell. How you love us? And the Lord said, look, look at Esau. Mm -hmm. All right? I made his heritage a waste for the dragons, meaning future prophecy. Esau William is going to be destroyed, completely destroyed. Right now, he's living it up, having a good time. We know he's going to be destroyed. And it says what? Uh, 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 he says he's going to come build the desolate places, and the Lord said he will build. So we're watching it. We watched, we watched Esau build this kingdom up. It watched this kingdom reach the peak of his existence. And now we have the time where it says what? They will build, but I will throw down. Lord is going to throw this place down. And when he throw this place down, well, he's going to lift us up. You know, he was a little wroth with us, man. Plain and simple, <laughs> we sinned against our power. But he's not, he said, well, he won't cast off forever. Neither will he keep his anger forever. Surely the Lord is good to Israel. Esau is only prosperous for a moment. What does it say in Job? The joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. So we get chastised now. We're going to get everlasting salvation, man. That's 2 Maccabees, the sixth chapter. All right, it says the Lord didn't take away his great goodness from us, 
All right, by chastising us right away and not letting our sins build up to the rest of the world, he's going to punish them at once. We don't have to go through all the hell they finna go. Trust everything that we went through is going to be half what they finna go through. And then they don't even get the hope of immortality like us. So it's really less than half. Okay? Yeah, according to Wisdom of Solomon, it's a thousand. What they're going through is going to be a thousand times worse than what we went through. So he scores the enemies a thousand times more. So what? Verse 2 is saying, But as for me, my feet was almost gone, and my steps had well uh, nigh sit, uh, slipping. But for I am at the foolish, which I saw the prosper of the wicked. <laughs> right? So he was um, he said he almost slipped. He was envious looking at the wicked like that. They have a good time. They getting paid. What that nigga future say? God blessing all the trap niggas. They think it's sweet, man. And uh, Luke 6, man, woe to thee, woe unto thee, man, that, that uh, rejoice now, man. You shall mourn. Woe unto you that are rich now, man. You know that laugh. You shall weep. Okay? Verse 4. For there was no bonds in their death, but their strength is form. Form. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they played like other men. Therefore, pride could pass them about as a chain, violence. Covered them as a garment. Right. You know, they they not in trouble. They not worried about nothing. So what they do? They get some more wickedness. They violent. And they fucking just do whatever. Go ahead. That's it. Their eyes stand up, uh, stand out with fatness, and they have more than their heart can wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully. They set their mouth against the heaven and their tongue walk through the earth. Therefore, this people return hither and water of a full cup are wrong out of to them. Mm -hmm. uh, and they say, how does Yahweh know? Is there knowledge in the Most High? Right. So they do their wickedness. They think uh, uh, the Lord don't see them in private. All right. The shit they do uh, because they got the power, which is in the power of their hand. So they do wickedness. They work it. They execute wicked laws. Fuck us up as a nation. I go going full circle to Isaiah 10. Set up laws to oppress us, the poor. Take away judgment from us. Okay, go ahead. Behold, there, there are the ungodly who prosper in the world. This is the ungodly that prosper in the world. That's that's simple, man. The ones who the rich, you know, up until this point, the rich, because it will be a switch, man. Soon we're going to be the rich in the blink of an eye. Okay, but this, the rich up until this point are the ungodly. They living it up, man. The Lord got them in a trick bag. All right? They enjoying themselves. Now understand they finna get caught up in the snare. It says them uh, that shall be rich shall have diverse temptations. And it talks about them they even seek the riches. They just pierce themselves. All right? Trying to get it. Which is, hey, look. Those who, the elites that run the beast system, all right? They are in all type of wickedness. And those who follow up from trying to get part of the beast system, you're going to take that chip. If your coverage, this is going to make you go for it. Go ahead. They say, they increase in, in, in riches. Really, I have cleaned my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocence. For all the day long have I have uh, been pled and chastised in every morning. Uh, if I say I will speak this, behold, I shall offend against the generation of their children. Uh, that's, no, no, no. I, when, when I thought to know this, it was too painful for me until I went to the sanctuary of Yahweh, then understood I uh, their end. Right. So then when we get to these scriptures, we understand their end. We understand, like, no, nah, the Lord is truly good to Israel. Yeah, we afflicted right now. And that's a good thing because now we ain't got to get judged in the rest of the world. And we're going to get, we're going to start off this thing of immortality on the good side. Everybody's suffering over here. Even Esau suffering right now. <laughs> Shit, they lose their whole damn kingdom. <laughs> so at least we about to be prosperous, you know. Lord increasing us every moment. Yeah, the hell, you know, it's a little flaming, but the Lord increased us every damn moment, man. Our faith decreases. All right? We get deeper into the spirit. And soon we're going to have full-fledged spiritual power. Soon we're going to have fame in these lands we in, man. Soon the Lord's going to be glorified. Yeah, the name of Yahweh is going to be glorified in us. 
In fact, it's happening now. The whole world is learning about the name Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Even when they scoff against it, that's them acknowledging that that's the true name because they in fear. They say Yahweh Shai is anti Semitic. So just because the sign just said Yahweh Shai is coming, right. that's anti Semitism. But one Yahweh Shai is of the tribe of Judah. All right? And he's Adam. So he's the top Shemite. <laughs> what are you talking about? But that just shows that they, they fear that name. That's that Malachi 1 and uh, 14 kicking in, man. All right? They going to fear that name, man. And guess what a scared cat does? A scared cat attacks. You saw the scared little pussy, he going to attack. And that's for the ones to get glory. The Lord said Esau's going to fight against him, man. The devil knows he had a short time. He's coming down the great wrath. Same thing the Lord did with Pharaoh. Pharaoh let, uh, let us go. Well, what did the Lord do? He hardened his heart and made him follow after us, man. Yep. So, so, so the Lord put the spirit on him to uh, gather his army and, and, and to chase us and to go into the midst of the Red Sea so the Lord can uh, uh, overthrow his ass, man. And that's what's written in the, uh, the book of Romans, the ninth chapter. Paul said, uh, if the most are willing uh, uh, pretty much to uh, show his power, you know, raise up Pharaoh. And he and he was explaining that to let uh, 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 to let the church know what the Lord's purpose was this time around, man. He raised up these Edomites so he could show his power, you know. This is um. So I can you finish one more of this. Oh, slide. Oh, right. Uh, eighteen. Surely thou dost set them in slippery, I mean, slip, slippery places. They are cast them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation? As in a moment, they are utterly consumed with torments. Right. And the Lord got you on a slippery slope, man. Basically, it's them trick stairs. You walk all the way up the top of the stairs, they flip that switch, and it turned to a fucking slide. All right. Well, they got the sand. The, 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 the taller they are, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. The Lord <clears throat> let you become a giant, man. So he can throw down. No, that's Romans 9. Hey, yeah, there's a spirit. The brother just mentioned Pharaoh, how it relates. That's Romans 9 chapter. All right, the Lord called Esau and led him to Pharaoh in Egypt. He hardened his heart. And he said he was long suffering so he could get a, a great destruction fitted for him, man. A great uh, destruction of wrath fitted for him, man. Esau had to earn this. And the flip side of that is the next verse after that. And so the, the vessels fitted for honor to get great mercies. All right, the same was that wasn't Solomon 18, man. I believe the same thing how the Lord punished the heathen, he glorified us. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. So we can grab that. What does that hit on that? Sure. I'm kind of sloppy, Joshua. You got it, bro. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. It says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. All right, hey, and that's why you know, um, it shall be well with them that fear Yahweh because they're going to be, um, living uh, righteously to the best of their ability. Verse 14 For power shall bring every work into judgment, um, uh, with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Hey, so hey, since judgment is not going out, hey, these people. Hey, all that works are going to be brought into judgment, you know? Hey, that's why um, the scripture said um, that it's not going to be well for the wicked. Because, uh, hey, all that's going to come back at the end of the day. And, you um, know, all, all your works, whether it be good or evil, is going to be brought to judgment. Yeah, it's the scripture in the book of Numbers. It speaks about uh, 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 to be sure that your sin will find you out, man. And the book of Sirach has said that the ways of the Israelites are, um, are, are are like the sun before the Lord. Pretty much none of our ways are hid. So the Lord know each deed and action that, uh, uh, that the Israelites do. So nothing is hid, man. That's why in Luke the 13th chapter, it clearly says, uh, 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 unless ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish, man. All those that were not, that Yahweh shall reign over them, man, they're going to be beheaded. 
That's what it says in the Spanish. It yeah. says, uh, bring them hither and slay them before me. In the Spanish, it, it says, decapitate them, man. Yeah. So great judgment is coming to all those that oppose this word. And I'm speaking to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because the judgment is already set for the heathen. God. You know? But uh, you, you look at the okay. wisdom. It's wisdom of Solomon uh, 18. I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, so if thy people was accepted, both the salvation of the righteous and destruction of the enemies. For with and, and that letting you know, man, that the the, the, the the Israelite salvation is the other people's destruction, man, just like how it happened in Egypt. You know, God. when Lot was delivered out of Sodom and Gomorrah, what was happening? People were being destroyed. The Israelites were delivered out of Egypt. What was uh what was happening? People were being destroyed, man. So it's going to be the same thing in this time around. It says, can I hit you real quick? Mm -hmm. It's Proverbs 21, 18. The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous and the transgressor for the upright. Some blood has to be shed. The Lord makes it clear and operate how he operates. There's always has to be blood shed. All right. So the wicked got to be put to death for us, uh, for us to be saved, man. Their life is going to be given for our lives, man. The Lord is all about duality, man. Yeah, it's a scripture in Proverbs that speaks about um, the righteous are delivered out of uh, uh, trouble and the wicked cometh in they stead. God. <laughs> you know, coming come right by. You, you got some? Yeah, yeah. This is Lamentations 4 and 21. This is rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. So talking about the punishment, right? This is the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Yeah. He will visit thy iniquity. O oh, daughter of Edom, he will discover thy sins. There you go. That's that's, that's our salvation and their destruction. Khan, yeah. Hey, shit, this Obadiah. Hey, that's a good point. This Obadiah. Um... Chapter 1, of course, and it's 15. For the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. So you're going to be beaten to pieces, man, like it says in Revelation, the second chapter. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. All right? And the house of Jacob shall be a fiery house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for a stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. There shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh has spoken it. So that's their destruction, our salvation, man. This destruction is for the heathen. All right? But Jake don't want to, two thirds of Jake don't repent. Here's why the brother man said, Bring them here, then slay them before me. Them that I should not reign over them, you know, bring them and decapitate them. All right. It's back in uh, Wisdom of Solomon 18, verse 8 now. It says, For with for wherewith thou didst punish our adversaries, but by, by the same thou didst glorify us whom thou hast called. God. So the same things he used to destroy our enemies is how he's going to put glory on us, you know, give glory to himself, of course. He's going to use that as the glory to us, man, the salvation. It's like Egypt, what he used. At one point, hey, this one of the coldest things in that Exodus, man, the chariots went behind the children of Israel, was still as a pillar of light unto us so we can still see where we need to go. And it was a, a, a cloud to the, the Egyptians at the same time. So it darkened them. So they couldn't come and chase us as we crossed the water, man. It did both things at once. All right? So he used that chariot to, de to destroy our enemies and to save us at the same time. All right? He, used, he separated the water, all right? And, and he literally separated it, okay? It was a wall of water. Remember, Jacob, a long time ago, was trying to make it so he poured down to this body of water. No. He said it was a wall of water, man. It was the a land, was, the land bridge was, under the, yeah, uh, the, 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 the man. Man. you know, scripture says what it says. You, you know? either got faith in it or you don't. 
The fish is up there like a damn aquarium, but with no glass, man. All right, it's a fucking thing of water. He used that to save us. We walked on dry land, and that same wall of water he had crashed upon our enemies. This is the power we're dealing with, man. All right? The so, death it, angel, like for the Egyptians, it, 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 it killed them, but that blood, you know, didn't touch the, uh, the Israelites. Yeah, well, the, uh, the, the plagues, period. Kind of, yep. You know, when all the uh, all the cattle died, you know, uh, the darkness, uh, the, the yep, yep, the, the darkness, uh, um, the uh, the fire raining down on all the crops dying, all that, man. But yet, it didn't touch uh, the land of Goshen where we dwell. That, that that's that's giving glory to that's 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 to the glory of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah right there, man. Here it is, all these other cattle, all these other crops. And all these other things was was being destroyed in Egypt, but yet the children of Israel were straight, man. You know, it's right, gonna be the same thing in these times to come. Yep, and it said, "What the Lord heard our cries, man." When I'm mistaken, actually, it said the Lord heard our cries. That's why He saved us. Yeah. Here's our cries now, man. And how wish I said that? He said, "The Lord did pick." Let me pull it up, man. Uh, why is the word that the Lord did a patient of crap day and night? Uh, Luke 18. Okay, kind of the water. Yeah, verse one. Okay. Uh, it should be like verse four or five. It's all good. <laughs> I got you. This is Luke 18. And, um, shit. I'm going to start at one. He spake the parables of them to this end that men are always to pray and not to faint. <clears throat> so it may seem like, hey, you know what? Because Jeremiah said it. Jeremiah said, why would you be as a liar? And, you know, let me pull that up first. Because it's for the sake of the parable. And then, well, it goes full circle to what we read in Habakkuk, the first chapter. Yep. But Habakkuk said, Lord, how long shall I cry unto you about spoil and violence and you not doing nothing? Yep. How long shall, shall judgment not proceed forth? How long shall thy law be slack? You know? Yeah. It's Jeremiah 15. In 17, I said, not in the assembly of the mockers, nor rejoice. I said, alone because of thy hand, that thou hast filled me with indignation. You know, we, we got this spirit. We ain't out here dealing with, just dealing with people, period, like that, man. Unless we got to. We said, we dealing with indignation. We waiting, like, Lord, come save us. We're going to enjoy the whole world. Enjoy our people. Enjoy everything. Man, we got indignation right now. We're filled with it. Why is my pain perpetual? And my wound incurable, <clears throat> which refuses to be healed. Wilt thou be altogether unto me as a liar and as waters that fail? That's a heavy sin. He just asked the Lord, which the Lord came like, like, what's taking so long? Would you like I'm still going through all this hell? We still suffer here. Why would you be as a liar? Why does it seem like you a power that's not going to actually do what you said? Waters that fail. When we know the Lord is sure waters, man. He's a sure state. But you know what? Part of the affliction is that the, the waiting games, where they come off like, damn, what's, what's going on? Okay? Um, and it shows you, man, that um speaks about how uh, the same affliction is accomplishing your brethren in the world. It says, uh, look at the uh, the prophets of old as an example of uh, uh, endurance. It spoke about how uh, Elijah was a man of like passion as us, man. And we can read the, uh, our, these stories of our forefathers, and we can see when, 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 when they had moments in the flesh, when they got weak, even they cried out to the Lord and and said, "Lord, how long? Or Lord, why is this happening?" You know, you know. Uh, yeah, Job was like, "Let me speak. I'm speaking my mm -hmm. bitterness. I'm speaking my complaint, my bitterness." That's so they, when, that's when his homie tried to get on him hard, but really, he like yep. going through hell, like some bitter as hell. Yep. Some fucking bitter, man. That's part of boldness coming to the throne, you know, before the throne of the Lord. You know, we are fucked up and we do deserve hell, but he promised us mercy. It's, it's like, shit, you know, it's, you know, it's really like, how long, Lord? People just pro profaning your name, they scoffing at the name of how we're the news. We fucked up. We doing your work. We know we ain't worthy, you know, of, of your kingdom, but you said if we do X, Y, Z, you got us. When are these promises going to come? You said you're going to deliver us. And sometimes that shit can weigh on you, man. That's part of the battle, but we know, but we get our ass back up. All right? And that's what Yahweh said. Men ought to always pray a thing not. 
All right, we got to remember to pray. We got to remember the Lord is in control of all this, man. Don't start trying to take too much stuff into our own hands. You know? When you read the Psalms, a lot of the psalmists, you know, King David, they, they, they were crying out to the Lord, saying, Lord, how long? Lord, well, uh, how how shall these heathens rule over us? Ezra's even cried out about it. Kind. You know? He cut at us, too. So the doubt that you can love my people more than me. You know? Hey, but the point is that hey, those feelings are going to come. We're going to have those low moments in the spirit, man. But those things are written for our learning. That, that how our uh, how our forefathers endured and, and and kept the faith and continue to push. That's the same thing. The uh, same examples we got to be in, and we got to follow after. You know. I have a picture. This uh, Psalm thirty four and uh, fifteen. It said, "The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and His ears are open unto their cries." The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from off the earth. And that's King David talking, man. Hey, he, he he prayed for these things, man. He prayed to, uh, and cried and uh, uh, hoped that the Lord uh, hear our cries, right? I'm going to keep reading verse uh, 17. It said, the righteous cry and the Lord hear it and deliver them out of all their troubles, man. So God, the fact of what we're going through, the Lord is going to, what, deliver us out of all our troubles, man. They say, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and say such as be of a contrary heart, man. That, 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 that un, uh, basically, that, and, and, and hell and, and going through and suffering, that, that know they fucked up and, uh, uh and, and, and still acknowledge their sins and trying to get right. Verse uh, 19, many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. And that's the mercy of the Lord, man, because the Lord always got the righteous. Uh, this is um first Peter five and ten. But the power of all grace who have called us unto eternal glory by Mashiach Yahushai. Mashiach means anointed, you know. We, we avoid saying Christ as a false idol. After that, you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. So you know what we we don't if we don't have those moments where we suffer for a while, guess what? That's we gonna after those moments what it said the Lord gonna make us perfect. It's gonna mature us up. All right, we're gonna be established, strengthened, and settled. Ain't nothing gonna move us. These are charges of our faith. This stuff builds us up. So we're going through these things. We gotta remember we still gotta keep it in the prayer, man. All right, the Lord God has cast our cares upon Him. Yeah, it may be nerve wracking at times. Not praying for this shit. That's the comfort. The hell gets nerve wracking, you know, it's supposed to be, man. It's agitation. It's trying to fuck with it. It's trying to get in our head, man. It be like that, man. But hey, you ain't alone. It's all good. We get the victory. Nay, we got the victory. All right. And we about to rule over our enemies real soon, man. All right. We about to rule over our fucking enemy. Everybody's going to bow down to us, man. Hey, guess what? The Israelite man, so called liberal Latin American man, in this society is the least valued thing, man. We're the most precious. And soon the world is going to see that. And everybody's going to bow down to us. Not because we've made ourselves great, but because we are the children of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, man. He's going to be glorified in us. Right. These people will bow down to get in order, man. And since we're going to be so pissed off, we're going to get to knock them upside their fucking noggin. Recompense, man. That sweet joy of recompense. Okay. This is what? For the Lord will not forsake you. For he has pleased you to make you his people. And and and, and for his name's sake. You know? Uh what does it say in uh in the prayer of Vanessa? It's because of us sinners, thou is called merciful. You know, so all of this is 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 for the glory of Yahweh Bashimi Haoshai, man. You know, if I may get this right quick. This is uh this is Job 13 and 15. It says, Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. And own ways basically meaning what? Our, our integrity. You know, even though we're going through all this and it feels like hell, like it says in the, what is it, Corinthians, where it says that uh, chast chastisement may seem grievous. God, right. Yeah, now, Hebrews, no good. chastisement yeah. at the moment feel good, but grievous, but it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Mm -hmm. You know, at, at, at the end, you know, it's, it's like the real saying, it's like you're getting, you know, 
uh, shifted. You're getting, you know, tossed around. But, but at the end, if you endured it, you know, you, you're going to be called his sons. You know, we're going to get all the benefits of it. You know? It's uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. That has no <clears throat> temptation take you, but such as common to man. But yet, how is faithful? And that's the key. You got to always remember the Lord is faithful to the righteous, man. The ones that seeking and crying out. Hey, they say the things that running for four times running for our learning. What happened? What happened in Esther, man? When uh, Haman tried to come against Mordecai, man, who got the victory at that end? Hey, and, and what happened? What the children of Israel what came together and fast and came and what and, and stood together in the name of what Yahweh Hashem Shai, and we got the victory, man. So how much more now? When these things and, and the enemy is coming down uh, uh, in great wrath and come upon us, man. You think we're not going to get the victory? Well, we have the victory that is written, man. And you say, um, they say, the Lord is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But with temptation, we always, well, I mean, also uh, always make an escape. So like it, read it again. They say, but with, uh, with uh, Yahweh is faithful who will not suffer you to uh, temper above that you are able. But with the temptation, also make a way to escape that you might be able to bear it, man. And that's the thing we're going, even though we're suffering right now, hey, the Lord is still going to comfort us and make us a way to get out that jam. Uh, any temptation that comes to us, our way. Back in Luke 18 and 1, and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men are always to pray and not to faint. Saying there was in the city a judge which feared not the most high, neither regarded man, and there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary. And he went not for a while. So <laughs> this woman went and like, Look, I got an adversary, come avenge me of him. You know, the king didn't, didn't do it. The judge like it didn't do it. Okay, not for a minute, a while. But after he said within himself, Though I fear not the most high, nor regard man. Yeah, because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her unless by her continual coming she weary me. So this this judge, he didn't fear the Lord. All right. He don't even regard men. He didn't give a fuck about nothing. But he still he still avenged her just because she kept coming to him. So we gotta be like that to the Lord. Just keep taking our cares upon the touch. You gotta pray for stuff over and over. All right. And guess what? If the Lord ain't gonna change the situation, he'll let you know. He let Paul know. He says, it's your thorn in your flesh. Paul asked thrice. You know, but either way, the Lord got us, man. And when it comes down to taking down the enemies, that's going to happen. <laughs> All right, sooner than later, that's going to happen. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. And shall not the most high avenge his own elect. So this judge did it to a, you know, a regular woman. Imagine how the Lord feel about his elect, man. His chosen. Yahweh chose us and gave us to Yahweh Shai, man. The Lord, the Lord wouldn't he let. He had picked us elect, man. And told Yahweh Shai to rule over him. Told Yahweh Shai to come die for us. And Yahweh Shai was with that, man. So imagine how he, he feels about us crying out to him like this, man. The Lord knows our pain, man. There's a scripture in, um, in Isaiah. It says, he was afflicted in our afflictions. Now your parent whoop you and they say the certain one wanted to hurt you. And the Lord is really he truly afflicted. You know, he's seeing us go through this hell, man. His woman go through his wife. He's seeing us get beaten and battered. Like, damn. And shall not, that's why I say he's gonna uh, he's gonna shout and come down as a man of war. And shall not the power of vengeance only let, which cried day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. I tell you. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on earth. So it's our job to keep the faith. All right? It's our job to keep the faith, man. Remember the patience of Job. How the Lord was long-suffering with him. Then and he pitied him at the end, and he was increased. We spiritual Jobites, man. <laughs> right. Even the woman told the curse out the most high. And like I say, he don't speak as a foolish woman. Shall now we receive? Shall we not receive good and evil? That's right. You know. Yeah, I mean, no. It was just 
that's meditating in my head, man. Because that's the whole. That's the whole thing. It says when uh, when 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 the Lord returns, shall he find faith on the earth? Well, it starts with that lifeline. It starts with that spiritual umbilical cord. And what's that? That's the first thing Yahweh Shah said. Uh, what well, that that first verse said. It said that Yahweh Shah spoke that parable so that men should always to pray and not faint, man. Prayer is our uh, is 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 that lifeline. Prayer is that spiritual umbilical cord. That's what links us to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. That's what shows faith, man. For you to continually pray and ask the Lord for whatever you ask him for, that first and foremost prayer, that, 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 that institutes that you believe that there is a higher power listening to the things you say in your head, man. Prayer, praying is a, is, a, is a heavy act of faith right there, man. A heavy act of faith. <laughs> you know, to, to have that to have that belief that the Lord is listening to the things that that, that, that you cried out to him for. And, and to expect to receive it, man. Yahweh Shah said, um, 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 whatever you ask in my name, believe in. That's what the Father will do. That is the truth, bro. So we have to uh truly believe in the things that we ask for, man. We ask him for the Lord to keep his Holy Spirit upon us. Or you should be. You should be, you should be praying to the Lord and, 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 and asking for forgiveness each and every day. Each morning when you wake up, the Wadi Yahweh Basham Yahweh for allowing me to see another day. A lot of people had a mindset of, yeah, man, I'm still here in America, man. Look, hey, the Wadi Yahweh Basham Yahweh that I, I have another day in America in order to atone for the bullshit that I did in this life that I continue to do and in my past life, man. Each and every day is another moment to wake up to atone. Each and every day is another moment to wake up and do what's right in the eyes of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai, man. So grab that cup of salvation. You know, each day is day to grab that cup of salvation, man. <clears throat> this is um second Edges 4 and 35. It says, Did not the souls also of the righteous ask questions of these things in their chambers, saying, and it says in their chamber. So basically, they 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 they, they in the comfort of they of their own a uh, uh, house, whether it be a room, whether they be uh, uh, locked up in, in in a dungeon, wherever it was, man. They had these same questions that they would cry and ask the Lord, saying, "How long shall I hope on this fashion? When cometh the fruit of the floor of our reward?" So that was a question that the righteous, our forefathers, did ask, man. Verse thirty six. And unto these things, Uriel the archangel gave them answer and said, even when the number of seeds is filled in you, for he hath weighed the world in the balance, man. So it says, even when the number of seeds are fulfilled in us. What's that, man? That, 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 that's all of the, what, what Yahweh Shah said. He said, um, uh, um, um, I have all of them in my hand and I have lost none except the son of perdition, roughly paraphrasing the scripture. Revelation, the seventh chapter, it speaks about what? Until uh, uh, all the uh, the servants have the seal in their foreheads, man. We're living in that time now. Our forefathers, man, they prayed and asked, how long shall we hope? How long shall this and we go through this? How long shall we be on the bottom? And the answer was always uh, what, what the archangel uh, 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 told him. Until the number of uh, seeds is, 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 is sealed, man. We're living in that time now, man, you know. Hey, what happened to that? He told him, uh, Yahweh Shai told the disciples, they says, Are you now kind of restore the kingdom to Jerusalem? He said, It's not for you to know the time, to know the time. It's in the Father's hand. You know? So, really, we just wait till the Lord deliver us. He said, Wait in Jerusalem, I'm getting you power. So, you know what we're waiting for? We're waiting for that power. When that power comes, guess what? We know we really, we really out this bitch. You know? The Lord said, um, in that song, when King David got the power, he said the Lord turned on his candle. So we got this candle on, we got this wisdom. What's next? That power. All right, that power was coming, man. Our enemies come in with great wrath. They got their power, shit. They got their weaponry. Is the Lord able to arm us up? And I ain't talking about with no guns and shit. I'm talking about with fucking powers. This is the end. This is what we've been waiting for. 
The problem, this is what the, man, this is uh, Peter. Kanye, you can still get your prison up. I don't want to give up, so you can get it. Plenty of time. I spread like the wind. Uh, damn, I think I thought it was First Peter one. Yep, First Peter one. And uh, man, First Peter one is my favorite section. I can't not read this part, man. This First Peter one is in, in, th in three. Blessed be Yahweh, Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which according to His abundant mercy has begotten us again. Unto a life we hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai, Mashiach from the dead. To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fate if not away, reserved in heaven for you who are kept. So we got a reward waiting for us, man. All right, an inheritance at that, man. Joint heirs with Yahweh Shai being the son's living power. We really got to believe this, man. And we're going to get these powers. We're going to be transformed. All right? We're going to be made perfect, perfect, okay? Who are kept by the power of the Most High through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations. So our faith in the Lord, our faith in getting it, these promises, is our comfort, man. We going through hell and heaviness. <laughs> this comforts us, man, and that's the that's the point. That the trial of your faith be much more precious than the gold that perisheth. Lord, be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of the Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Whom have we not seen, ye love, and whom though now ye see him not, ye are believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Of which, Here's the point. Of which salvation the prophets have required and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Hamashiach, which was in them, did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Hamashiach and the glory that should follow. Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves. So the prophets of old, they was inquiring and looking forward to the days that we're in. They didn't do this unto themselves, man. But unto us, they did minister the things. These things they went through, the writings. This is all for us at this end time. So we can have the faith, so we can look and be comforted by the things that are written for a time. So we can endure, man, through the spirit. But unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. So we got a man up. To endure his truth is a manly thing. Basically, that's said, bake, grab your spiritual balls. You're going to have to man up. Wherefore, gird up the, up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shem You know? As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the form of lust or ignorance. So we obey this word with that new creature. But as he which have called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be ye holy for I am holy. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect of persons judged according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. All right? So we got to pass, pass this time with fear, man. <coughs> and what does it say in Isaiah? This is who I will look to, the, uh, him that is broken contrite and trembled at my word. You know, in Psalms, what is the second chapter? Rejoice with fear. Uh, uh. Rejoice with fear and trembling. I'm butchering it, but it's in the second chapter, man. Of Psalms. So we just got to be obedient, man. It's man. plain and simple. We're at the end of all this. The time the prophets asked about, the answer asked about, we at the end. What the, the disciples and the apostles asked about, asked the first chapter. We actually in that time, man. How soon it comes, what day, we don't know. That's in the hands of the Lord. But we know <coughs> we, we got to do. He gave us his gift of faith. We got to use it. Endure, push his word out. All right. And then the Holy Spirit is going to be increasing us soon. 
And that power was coming, man. You can just feel it, man. You know it's coming soon. Shit. I mean, I say that with the greatness upon me. I believe that, man. That power was coming soon, man. Uh, I appreciate it. That's Luke 10 and 19, real. Straight to the point. So, <clears throat> behold, I give unto you power to tread on uh, serpents and scorpions and over all the power of your enemies. And nothing shall by any mean hurt you. And that's what the Lord said. He was going to give us that power, man. When he returned, right? They say verse 20. Notwithstanding and rejoice not that the spirit are subject unto you, but rather be rejoiced because your name are uh, written in heaven, man. And that's what it is. We hope to be the uh, lake of Yahweh by Shemar man. So that we can get that power that the Lord promised us. So that uh, we can get our revenge on our enemies. Anybody got anything else? Hey, and with that, you know, hopefully your brethren were edified. We're going to end it by giving all praises and glory. See Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Cloud Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and <coughs> of Yeshurala that rule well. Salutations to you, Achim, out there in the highways and the byways, preaching this word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom. 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 Shal